in uh, the internationalization of innovation of uh, multinational corporations. And uh, what, w what I actually research on is, uh, uh, I I'm researching on the motives of how multinational corporations uh, establish their R&D subsidiaries in foreign-based locations and uh, by which means they try to absorb and communicate their knowledge with external and internal actors. Uh, just to put it more uh, simple, for, uh, simple for, uh, for the general audience, uh, what I do is to observe how the R&D subsidiaries uh, communicate their knowledge with two different parts. Uh, these parts are first the internal uh, knowledge network, which actually is uh, the network of knowledge that is generated and transferred within the multinational corporation, and second with the external environment, uh, which is actually uh, external actors such as research, uni research centers, universities, uh, other companies, uh, which actually communicate and transfer, transfer knowledge with the R&D subsidiaries. Uh, the second thing that is of interest is that uh, the recent research stream has divided uh, the external network to two different aspects. The first aspect is the host location mm -hmm. under which the RNA subsidiary is placed since it is a foreign based RNA subsidiary and the second is the home location under which the headquarters is placed. So the RNA subsidiary uh, has the unique opportunity to be uh, established and be able to communicate and transfer knowledge um, uh, from, uh, to two different but at the same time distinct research, uh, research uh, knowledge networks. The results show that uh, in terms of knowledge generation, in terms of uh, innovative performance, uh, it seems that uh, internal network is this that uh, matters a lot because um, um, firms, subsidiaries actually, uh, seem to communicate their knowledge more frequently and because they don't have the hidden aspect of uh, uh, knowledge spillovers and possible pro uh, intellectual property uh, uh, spillover to any other uh, party. Uh, so, uh, although this uh, innovative performance is uh, increased mm -hmm. through the internal network. Uh, we can also observe that the multinational corporation uh, seeks for new knowledge from the external environment. So what it does is to utilize the available external resources and the knowledge that is available in the, in the, in the host location under which uh, the subsidiary operates but it doesn't seem that this sort of knowledge that is available in the external network is actually transmitted automatically through a, through a, through a form of cooperation with external resources. Uh, and in fact, this doesn't really seem to affect the innovative performance. So what we can say is that the internal network, the internal, the internal relationships within the multinational corporation network uh, enhance the innovative performance of the, of the subsidiary, uh, but the external relationships okay. do not. Although the external actors and the external resources are very valuable for the subsidiary itself. Uh, although we know from the literature that there is a great relationship between uh, the cheap labor force and the highly qualified personnel that uh, actually uh, live in emerging markets. Um, we knew that from the literature. Uh, we actually uh, learned from, uh, from this study that uh, multinationals go there not only to uh, get the leverage of, uh, of the cheap labor force, but also they tend to learn from the external environment, which is something actually that hasn't really mentioned, mentioned before. Uh, so uh, I would like to highlight the fact that although we don't really uh, highlight and we don't give a specific uh, focus on, on this aspect that emerging markets uh, actually have 
a great capacity of knowledge nowadays and then and they can really contribute in the knowledge generation of the subsidiary and the multinational corporation. Um, this actually is the case for many countries, especially uh, emerging markets that have nowadays developed their own uh, competitive firms and can contribute uh, in the global uh, competitiveness, especially in terms of technological competitiveness. Actually, this question is uh, really simple for me to, to answer it because uh, if I didn't have the opportunity to develop my skills throughout uh, these this, uh, years in my, in my doctoral studies, uh, I don't think that I would be able to uh, produce uh, a good quality, uh, of a good academic quality in terms of uh, an academic paper and a good PhD. Uh, so, yes, um, in the second year I had the opportunity to attend uh, a very, very helpful and very, very advanced econometric program, Birkbeck College from the University of London, uh, which really helped me, helped me in order to gain the appropriate uh, econometric techniques and, of course, the knowledge in order to develop my own methodological um, uh, advances uh, in order to uh, produce a, 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 a work of, of, of good quality. So uh, I, was a, I was lucky enough to, uh, to, to be given a, the opportunity to attend such a very, uh, very, although demanding, very, very uh, competitive and helpful economic program. So I think this, this was a cornerstone of, of, of the studies. Oh, I absolutely believe that uh, not only in this university, I mean every university that is uh, considered to be research intensive should uh, have a, a program which is actually uh, based on advanced uh, research methods. And we all know that econometrics is uh, the most proper way to, uh, to proceed in order to do a very, very a highly uh, demanding a, a, a very competitive quantitative study. Uh, although we all know that econometrics are uh, widely used in the school, in school of economics and not in business schools, uh, we nowadays see that there is a there is a stream of research that has devoted a lot of attention to applied econometrics, and I think that researchers who are able to study econometrics. Uh, in their uh, doctoral studies, throughout their doctoral studies, I think they, they will gain a, a great um, a great research tool in the future for their academic or possibly for their corporate uh, professional life. Because as we know, as we know, it's not only uh, a tool for the academic uh, practice, but it's also for the corporate uh, practice, which actually is very helpful. Uh, especially if a student is interested in uh, applying for jobs in consultancies, etc. So, absolutely, econometrics is of tremendous importance for a business school nowadays.